You recently published the latest Edelman Trust report, which focused on brands and politics, clearly in a big uh, election year across the world. Uh, what can you tell us about what you found out in this report for this year? The stunning finding in this report is that 80% of people tell us that they are considering their choices of products based on their political ideology. And 60% are buying on the basis of which party they're a member of. And so if you understand that in fact now politics is important as race or gender or income or education or location, you know, but brands need to run into this as opposed to run away from it. Because our data also found that if you don't say something about the issues, the consumer will assume that you are complicit, <laughs> more than half. So, and especially Gen Z, 60%. By five to one, people want you to say more about climate. By four to one, more about fair pay. By two to one, on race and diversity. So be clear, it's not only that silence is complicity, it is also that if you're silent, you're irrelevant. Yeah. We want you to be in the game. The key to brands is hope. And marketing gives us a sense of optimism of what the world can be. And that's a really vital role in a time of real concern about the future. Edelman's working with some of the biggest brands across the world. How are you seeing companies approach this somewhat sensitive subject? I think the smart companies are recognizing that uh, it's a different thing to be political and to be in politics. You don't need to endorse candidates. You don't need to get into the most controversial issues, abortion, election rights, things like this, except for your own employees. But on the matter of being political, sustainability, diversity, equity and inclusion, uh, even geopolitics, these are all things that consumers are considering. And so you need to have um, a stance and it needs to be visible and you need to be consistent and it needs to be also coherent with your own corporate uh, values. The other really important point is that you have ideological diversity on your marketing team. Let's be frank, a lot of marketers tend to be liberal and we need conservative voices in the room because just as you need diverse people on your teams, you now need people who say, that doesn't make sense to the conservative audience. That's not gonna sound good. You shouldn't do that.